In this video, I'm going to show you the main difference between a room and a MongoDB Realm database and also list all the pros and cons of each one. So let's start with the Room database first. A room is an open source database library developed by Google, specifically made for Android applications. It is designed to be a lightweight, efficient and easy to use uh, alternative to a traditional SQLite databases. Room uses the concept of an object relational mapping ORM to map a Java or a Kotlin objects to a database tables. With a room, uh, we basically define uh, entities that represents uh, tables in the database and also a DAO interface where we specify all kind of uh, interactions that we want to have with those uh, tables as well as uh, write some uh, custom SQL queries. So what are the main reasons that uh, makes a room database a good choice for you? Well, let's see. The first one is the integration with uh, the Android architecture components. So a room is a part of the Android uh, Jetpack uh, architecture components, which uh, makes it easy to use with uh, other Android libraries as well. The next one is uh, strong typing. So rooms allows you to use uh, Kotlin data classes, which uh, offers strong typing and help prevent errors at a compile time. The next one is uh, easy to use. So a room is uh, simple to set up and use, even for developers who are new to the database. And the last one is uh, good performance, so a room is uh, optimized for a performance on a mobile devices and uh, can handle uh, large amounts of data without uh, slowing down the application. And uh, on the other hand, uh, some of the shortcomings of this library are the security. So uh, when it comes to the security, a uh, room do not provide a user-based management and you will have to cover the security for the database by yourself. There is no uh, native uh, built-in encryption and users uh, need to use uh, third-party encryption libraries instead. And the second uh, shortcoming is uh, cross-platform. So if you wish to develop uh, cross-platform applications or some other different uh, web interfaces, you will need to depend your projects uh, on a different uh, ORMs and the concepts that uh, each framework brings. Okay, so in short, that's uh, everything about the Room library. Uh, the next one is uh, MongoDB Realm. So a Realm is a cloud-based uh, database that is designed to be uh, used across uh, multiple platforms, including uh, web and mobile applications. It is built uh, on top of a MongoDB, which is a popular document-oriented database. It has a built-in uh, edge-to-cloud data synchronization service that allows developers to easily backup, manage and analyze mobile application data in the cloud using the full power of a MongoDB Atlas. And the MongoDB Atlas is a cloud-based platform which is designed for developers who want to host their MongoDB database in the cloud. And it also provides various different features to make it easy to deploy, scale and manage your database and offers a high level of availability, reliability and security. The main benefits of using this database are cross-platform support. So unlike a room database, a MongoDB Realm can be actually used across multiple platforms, including Android, iOS and web applications uh, and it offers a number of SDKs for different uh, programming languages as well. The next one is a serverless. So a MongoDB is a serverless database which means that uh, there is no need to uh, set up or manage uh, servers. Then we have a real-time uh, synchronization. So a MongoDB Realm uh, offers a real-time synchronization which makes it easy to keep the data in sync across different devices and platforms. The next one is a powerful uh, query language so uh, MongoDB Realm uh, offers a uh, powerful uh, query language that uh, is designed to be uh, flexible and uh, easy to use. And the last uh, good thing about uh, the MongoDB Realm is a uh, security. So a Realm database uh, provides a native encryption and if you're using a MongoDB Atlas for a data synchronization uh, then there is a built-in uh, authentication and authorization controls that uh, makes it simple to control which user can read and write to different partitions of data. And some of the bad things about the MongoDB Realm are a higher learning curve. So a MongoDB Realm can be complex to set up and use, especially for developers who are new to this database. And the MongoDB Realm can be expensive. If you are planning to use a MongoDB Atlas to synchronize the data between the, the server and the client, because if you are planning to hold a large amount of data uh, inside a MongoDB on the cloud, then that will definitely uh, cost you some money. So uh, both the uh, Room and the MongoDB Realm uh, offer a uh, unique uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages and the choice between them uh, will depend on the specific needs of the project. 
So for developers who are building uh, an Android application and require a lightweight and simple database, uh, then a room may be the best option. Otherwise, for developers who require a database that uh, can be used across uh, multiple platforms and require a real-time uh, synchronization, uh, then a MongoDB Realm may be the best choice. Bottom line, it all depends on the project requirements itself. So uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what you think uh, which one of them is better choice from your perspective. And of course, uh, be sure to leave a like, but only if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.